All right, guys, so I was looking all over YouTube the other day trying to find a video on how to adjust your clutch on the Ninja 650, and I couldn't find what I was looking for. The only one I could find was how to adjust your lever up here. And um, anyone who's owned a bicycle should already know how to do that. So I'm going to take you guys back to the garage, and I'm going to show you how to actually adjust the cable itself down underneath the fairing. All right, guys, so we're back in the garage. I hope the angle is good because I'm using the funky GoPro head mount thing, and I'm not really sure how well this is going to turn out. I, I never know where the point of view is actually at. How to adjust this uh, cable, which is actually, let me see if I can point you, ah, there, behind here. So you have to take this front right fairing off, and I have frame slider, so that's one extra step for me but I'm going to show you uh, all the screws and steps to disconnect this. If you have your toolkit, everything you need to do this uh, except for an 8 millimeter box wrench will be in your toolkit. I'm not going to use any of the tools from my toolkit because the tools I have in my toolbox are actually a lot better. So to start out with, you're going to have to take out these two bolts up here, this one here, and this one there. And I'm not sure what size Allen this is, but I will look and find out. Okay, so this is a four millimeter uh, hex key. Um, I also use an H4 for my security bit set. Uh, that seems to work great also. Let's see if I can punch down, get a little better angle. Okay, so we just start off by taking this one out. And these are actually the two hardest uh, screws to get in and out of the fairings from my experience. They are quite long. Okay, now that those two are out, let's find somewhere to set them so that we do not lose them. All right, the next one is slightly lower on the fairing, right here. And it is the same size. Oh no. Try not to lose pieces like I'm doing. All right, the next one's gonna be down here at the bottom by the oil viewer window here. And again, it's the same size. Now make sure you set these with your others and uh, you can't really get these confused because they're completely different from the other two. Okay, now the next thing I wanna do is underneath here, if you've ever done an oil change, you know that there's three little plastic plugs. These three plugs need to come out. The first one's right in front here. Hi. Uh, first one's right in front here. You just get your flat head in a little notch there and it should pop open and pull right out. Now there's two more underneath. I'm not sure if you can see them. This one looks like it's half out already. That was easy. And then this one here. Don't worry if you break these, these guys are a dime a dozen really. Now, there are four more little plugs kind of like this, but they work a little different. These, you basically, let's see if I can get, all right, these, you see this little hole here, you stick your flathead in, and you pry up, and that's how they pull out. Well, these are kind of different. If you can see, I'll try and show you this one right in front here without getting the light in the way. If you can see, there's a little hole in the center, and you just take your screwdriver and push in. And then that allows you to pull the plug out. Okay, now there's a couple more along the inside here. I can't really get the camera in to show you, but uh, 
you should be able to, to spot them pretty easy. Okay, now that all those are out, it should be free to pull off. You will have some slightly clip or some. You will have some small little pieces in here that kind of click together, kind of like this does up here. Maybe again. Kind of like this does up here, and that kind of holds it in place up here. So you will lift it up to the up and out ish, and then kind of bring this in down. So let's see if I can show you what I mean. This comes out. And this end kind of comes down. Uh oh, looks like I still got a piece clipped in there. There we go. And then you'll just take your little uh, blinker in here, turn it to the, if you're facing that way, turn it left. That was working. Turn it left, there we go. And it pops right out. Take your fairing, set it off to the side where it will not get damaged. Do not set it paint side down. It could scratch, so paint side up. Okay, now we need our box wrenches. You need an eight millimeter and a 10 millimeter. Okay, so right in here, this right here is your clutch cable, and this is where you're going to tighten and loosen it. Well, not tighten and loosen it, but this is where you're gonna make your adjustments. So the first thing we need to do is take our 10 millimeter and loosen this jam nut, just like we did up top, basically. Just one or two turns. And you should be able to get in there with your finger and it should come right loose. Okay, so basically, I don't know how well you can see this tucked in here. This top long nut here is the adjuster itself. If you want to come, if you come down with it, your friction zone will be farther in. If you go up, your friction zone will be farther out. So we want it to be somewhere right in the middle. That will let us take two fingers on the lever and pull it into our other two fingers without taking these two fingers off the bar. So we want it to where we're going to be disengaging the clutch when it's pulled all the way in, but not have to go past these two fingers. That's going to let us keep better control over the bike while we're riding and make faster shifts. So the way mine is right now, it's actually up pretty high. So I need to bring it back down. My friction zone is way out at the very end of the lever. So we're gonna take our eight millimeter and it's kind of hard. You can only get like a quarter turn at a time, but we're gonna crank this thing down. I need to actually flip the wrench back and forth as I go. It takes a lot of patience, but it needs to be done. And you cannot do it by finger. Maybe if you've got tiny fingers, but I personally cannot get in there. If you're not sure that you're going the right direction, what you can do is to set this jam nut one or two threads off from where you're at, and then go in, turn it a couple times, and see if you're getting closer to or farther away from that jam nut. All right, now once you have it adjusted about where you think it's gonna need to be, go ahead and just tighten up that jam nut finger tight, and then we'll start the bike and find out where our zone's at. Okay, so some people are gonna be more comfortable with this than others. Um, for this particular bike, it's not too heavy, so you can kind of walk it by hand. So what I'm gonna do is put it in neutral to start with and start it up. And my exhaust is gonna be kind of loud, so I'm not sure how well you're gonna hear me talking, so I'm gonna try to explain this beforehand. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it, I'm gonna put it in first gear, and then I'm gonna kind of let the clutch out and walk forward with it, just to see at what point that clutch is grabbing and where my friction zone is. I'm not gonna let the clutch out all the way, obviously my bike is gonna go flying across the garage that way. Sorry, I ran out of air. Obviously, the bike is gonna go flying across the garage if I do that. So here we go. Heard me or not, 
basically I was saying that where I'm set at right now, it's just about right where I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead, tighten up this nut and put everything back together. So using the eight millimeter wrench to hold my adjuster nut in place, I'm also gonna take my 10 millimeter and just tighten that up, give it a good and snug to make sure that doesn't come loose. Uh, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little how-to. Uh, I've not done a lot of how-tos. I know I'm not great at explaining things, but if you would like to see more, if you'd like to see how I did my uh, blinker tinting or my uh, the eyeballs on my headlights or anything else I've done, let me know and I'll post a video for you guys. And I'll catch you later. Thank you.